Hi, my name is Tiago Duarte and welcome to Daily Beats. In today's video we are going to talk about MIDI mapping and how you can change the notes from your uh, external MIDI controller and you can change them and reinterpret them uh, into new notes. So let's go ahead. Uh, I talked this about something about this in my 10 hack, 10 FL Studio hacks where you can change the layout of your of your uh, QWERTY keyboard and here you can change to have um, to have other scales other than the uh, default layout and you can do the same uh, with the external MIDI keyboard but uh, uh, it's not uh, this way that you do it so uh, let's go ahead I will use as an um, external interface my tablet and I will use E, uh, e, e L remote, which is the um, application from Image Line to control FL Studio via the tablet. So here I will launch uh, E L remote, and uh, we are prompt with this keyboard. And if I play here, uh, you can see that we can we have already uh, notes being played or sent through the tablet and uh, sent to FL Studio. So the connection is working. Uh, if you are having trouble connecting, you have to have this enabled and uh, both devices must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So go, let's go ahead and load uh, a piano. Let's go with the Daily Beats VI. And here you can see that if I open the piano roll, if I play uh, C5, it plays C5 and so on I can play all the notes in a row something like this but uh, what if I want to change and instead of playing C I want to or instead of playing this this scale all these notes I want to assign different notes to different um, um, keys and we can do that using patcher so let's go ahead and um, load patcher and uh, here as you can see we have two icons one is from fl studio and the other is to fl studio and uh, you can make um, signal paths and events and you can have these three uh, kinds of uh, lines that you will see in a minute so you have audio which is yellow uh, parameters which is this uh, reddish and events um, uh, green so to load a plugin here you right click and say add plugin and you have generators and effects and uh, this is the nice thing about patcher you can make several paths parallel paths uh, and they will um, merge together into one so you have a lot of flexibility in terms of sound design and effects and uh, a lot of stuff so let's go ahead and uh, call daily beats vi and as you can see we have from fl studio to daily beats vi we have this uh, uh, i will call green uh, arrow and line line and arrow and this what it means is that uh, we are sending event information which is midi to the to this plugin and then the audio output goes from this plugin daily beats vi into uh, fl studio and if we if i play here now the same notes so we have now uh, as you can see we have midi coming in and audio coming out but uh, what we want is to map things differently so we have to add a, a different plugin which is called uh, vfx key mapper and uh, as you can see it already connected but uh, what we want to do is to put this key mapper here in the middle of this connection so we have to disable this connection put uh, the key mapper here and connect the key mapper to daily beats vi and i know that i can connect these two because they are the same color for instance i cannot let me disconnect this i cannot connect this to this one you cannot connect events to audio and um, you have only all, all you have always 
uh, you have to always connect uh, the same colors audio with audio parameters with parameters and events with events so let's go ahead and um, open up this vfx key mapper and as you can see we have a di diagonal line here which means that for c we are playing c c sharp we are playing c sharp d we are playing d or d sharp we are playing d d sharp and this defines how how we are going to play the notes so let's go ahead here and I'll load up a scale and um, let's call this let's use the blues and as you can see this line which was diagonal now it's not and this is saying that for each C key that we press we are going to play C for each C sharp key we press we are going to play C so why because if you go here let's go here to the piano roll and let's put this smaller i just want it to be to show the the notes oops something like this so if we go ahead and in this options menu uh, we scale we highlight scale scale highlighting and we select the blues which is already selected we will see that in the scale we have C D sharp F F sharp G A sharp and then we go back to C and if we take a look at this this combination of notes you will see that for instance C which is inside of the um, scale will play C but C sharp is not uh, in the scale so we route it or map it to play C so if we now go here and play C uh, we have to have this selected if we play C we are playing C but if we play C sharp we are also playing C so these two notes are the same if I go ahead and select these two you see that they are different so if we go ahead we can see we can check that for instance D it's not part of the scale so we place D at D sharp because D sharp is part of the scale and D sharp will play D sharp and the same goes for F, F sharp and G they are all part of the um, of the scale so they play itself and for instance the E goes to F here E goes to F plays F so if we go to E and F we will we will have the same note note if I go to this instrument here you see that they are different so with this you can have a lot of fun the same goes for for here for a, a sharp and B they all play a sharp and in this way you can uh, even if you miss some some notes when you you are playing uh, you will always end up inside of the scale so it's a, a simple 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 way to avoid making mistakes when you are probably learning or maybe trying something out with your keyboard and the nice thing about this is that you have also chords uh, for instance we can have the minor chord and uh, as you can see the C note will play C D sharp and G the C sharp note will play C D sharp and F and as you can see you can do a lot of combinations you can even add for instance it's a little bit hard to manage I think it was F and you can play G sharp so you, so you can see that with the right click you clean all the um, all the notes and put it only one and uh, with the right click with the left click you can add new stuff so as you can see here you can uh, assign different notes or, or different keys and even chords to single notes in your keyboard so let's go ahead and have a listen to this so this will play uh, this will play C will play um, a D minor chord so this here is the same of me doing this here So as you can see it's the same so you can map different uh, chords to your keys and do 
and manage your scales your, or your chords that way. This can be really helpful to help you make chord progressions because uh, uh, chords are the, the best way to make chord progressions and um, it's the only way, right? It's a chord progression, so you have to use chords. Uh, forget that. <laughs> Sorry about that little part. So, as we can see, uh, we can change uh, the, 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 the mapping of the MIDI notes really simple and then you can use whatever instrument you want after you, you can also use different instruments so you want to do a layer of um, several instruments you can use let me open here GMS or 3x oscillator okay this is the only one is not supported by patcher so we can have GMS and oops here and we can also connect this to here and uh, we will have a very a very unique chord and we can change I don't know let me try leads So as you can see, you have a lot of flexibility with Patcher. And um, that's it. Uh, this is the simplest way of changing the, the mapping of your keys. And um, uh, I will call it a day. Today is a very fast video because uh, we released Daily Beats, uh, our new plugin at Daily Beats, which, which is called Split Enhancer. I will leave the links in the description if you want to check it out. And uh, so today we had uh, less time to make uh, a big video. So this is going to be short, a short one. And uh, if you are new here to this channel, please subscribe and activate the notification so that you know when we upload new videos. And um, if you have any questions or doubts, uh, or suggestions just leave them in the comments below and I will answer and uh, probably make a video out of your question um, and um, visit our website www.dailybeats.pt uh, that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one peace